food and nutrition. It's everything. It's what we're made out of, both cellularly and emotionally. So there is no separation for me between food and who I am. My name is April Hackert. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist and a psychiatric clinical researcher living in Jacksonville, Oregon. When I was a little girl, food was something that was encapsulating all aspects of me. I worked on a farm. I helped prepare meals for people on the farm. Food was always a part of my life and it was always this various kind of tool that helped me communicate and express myself. One of the major issues for me, both personally and professionally, that I would love for people to understand is the impact that food has on mental health. Learning about what food did and could do for me, it was more profoundly discovered when I got out of having binge eating disorder and really struggling with poorly managed mental health conditions. And so by no longer using food as a way to harm myself, I was able to realize how good you could feel. And then it became a profession to be able to help people understand that journey for themselves. I was gonna be a pediatric dietitian and that was the goal. And so I got my, my dream job at the University of Virginia. And that was actually when I had to manage my first psychiatric hospital. And that was when I realized that that was my real calling, not to be in pediatrics, but to work in psychiatry. And then I started Choose to Change Nutrition Services, which is a consulting practice uh, that started out clinically in treating adolescent eating disorders. And then it's evolved into now more of a culinary medicine consulting practice, which is, you know, an emerging field to where dietitians are central. As a registered dietitian nutritionist, there's no one else that is going to teach the how, the why, and the where, and even the when to eat in a way that's going to help optimize mental health. Through my consulting work, I had an opportunity to develop a curriculum and do training in the Middle East. And the program was accredited by the Academy. I visited five cities in the region over the course of a year and a half that allowed them to see nutritional psychology and the behavioral part of nutrition as an integral part of their medical practice. Most recently, I have been working with a local restaurant who is interested in providing more plant-based menu recipes. Dietitians working in a restaurant setting is the perfect pairing. We are food, we are a part of food, and, and we need to be involved in the creation of the menu items. And that is how we're actually gonna be able to change people's consumer practices, is that we offer them the same wonderful food, but we give them the nutrition they need. The most rewarding aspect that I have perceived as a dietitian is when someone is able to have that aha moment for themselves that they can change their life. And, and I think all of us on a certain level, we, we live for that. We love to help people change, helping people understand nutrition information and education in a way that's meaningful to them.